Hello, welcome to our web development series on Zenva.com. In the previous video, we set up our basic project and configured a simple home route to make sure everything works. In this uh, demo, in this video, we're going to set up the views templating engine so we can render some dynamic HTML for our home page, as well as configure the static assets so that we can deliver CSS and images and things of that sort. So let's go ahead and get started. So in your terminal, make sure you are in the root directory of your project. So simple project, sample store, excuse me. And run the server to make sure everything still works as we left off. So let's go ahead and make sure everything still looks the same which it does. So now we are all set to go. So let's go ahead and turn off the server and let's open the project in your text editor. And open up your server JS and now let's configure some more options for the Express application. So we're going to use the Hogan templating engine which enables us to render dynamic HTML um, which will allow us to inject data and render whatever data we want within that HTML. So let's go ahead and install the Hogan templating engine. So that's an npm install. That's hjs. And then don't forget the dash dash save. And when that's complete, we can see it in the package.json. So we know it worked. And then the next thing we will need here is the path module. This is a default module in Node, so we don't need to install that for npm. We can just go ahead and import it. And now we need to set up the views directory. So let's create a direct a specific directory for the views. Let's cd into the views directory and create a home.hjs template, which is basically an HTML document. But we need the HJS extension because we're using the Hogan templating engine. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to tell the Express app to use the Hogan templating engine. So we simply set the templating engine. So that is called the view engine. And here we are using HJS. Uh, we also want to set the views directory. So we do app.set views. And here's why we need path. We tell path to join the current directory, which is underscore, underscore. Keep in mind this is two underscores, not one, with the views folder. And so after, after adding these two lines, um, the app will look in the views directory right here for all of our dynamic templates using the Hogan templating engine, HJS. That's why we called it home HJS. So now what we want to do is go back to our home route from the previous video, which is right here. And instead of sending the static text, let's get rid of this. We want to render a template, specifically the home template. And then we're going to pass in null for the data object for now. So the render command tells the app to use the templating engine um, which is set uh, by in the server JS and because we told it to connect the views directory this will automatically look up the views directory for the home template which is home HJS um, we don't need to add the extension because we told it already these are HJS templates Hogan templates so what we can do now is go to our home HJS file, which of course is still empty, so we're not going to see anything. So now we need to set up some HTML so we have something to, to look at, something to physically see. So that's going to be some just generic HTML. Let's go ahead and set that up. We're going to add a head tag so we can import CSS and other stuff like JavaScript, and then a body tag. And then we're going to create a very simple header tag called welcome 
to my sample store. And that should be good for now. Okay, let's give it a run and see if this works. So we go back to our project root directory, run the server, and check on local host 5000. And here we see the HTML that we just wrote. So it worked. We just connected our view uh, views directory, our view engine, and we rendered our first template. So very good. So now we can turn off the server and connect one more thing. We're going to connect the static assets directory. So that is going to be in our public folder in our project, which we of course don't have yet. So let's set that up. So let's create a public directory. And then typically public assets or static assets are things like images, JavaScript files, CSS. Those are the most three most common. So let's go ahead in our public directory and create subdirectories for each one of those. So we have images, CSS, and JavaScript. And then let's go back to our root directory. And there they are, very good. And now let's connect the public directory to our static assets folder for the entire project. So that's a slightly different configuration that, that's called app.use. And here we're telling Express where to find our static assets like that. And then that's another path join function and that's going to be public like so. So now our project is configured to find all public, all static assets, excuse me, inside the public directory. So when we import CSS files or images or anything like that, the public directory will, will be automatically where they go and the project will automatically look up that directory for those files. So we are good to go with that and uh, that will wrap it up for this video. In the next video, we will begin setting up the actual home page layout. Um, however, before I wrap up, I should test one more time the server to make sure everything still works as expected, which it does. Great. So in the next video, we'll start setting up this layout, this UI. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.